Hi everyone, and welcome back to Doan. I'd especially like to welcome our new students to our campus. You know, this is gonna be the first time we're gonna be all back together on campus since March, and I really can't wait to see each and every one of you. In order to make this reopening successful and safe, we're gonna need your help. And we've put together this video to help you understand the protocols that will be in place this fall. These are not gonna be optional. They're going to be required. And in order for us to remain safe and healthy on campus, we need each and every one of you to pay attention to what these protocols are and to follow them. I'd like to thank Mr. Holman and Ms. Barada, especially for putting it together this video. As you'll see, they have roles to play in the video as well as introducing them. And I'd like to thank our students who participated in the making of the video as well. So sit back, enjoy, listen, and learn something. And we'll look forward to seeing you all here on September 8th. Thanks. Hi everyone, it's Ms. Barada. The videos that you're about to watch are to help you understand and visualize the new safety protocols that are going to be in place this school year. And as you watch these videos, I ask that you remember Doan's guiding values. At Doan Academy, we are a family, and that means that we respect one another and that we show compassion. And that's going to be very important as we move forward with this school year. We're confident that every member of the Doan community is gonna do their absolute best to adhere to the health and safety guidelines we put forth this year. But of course, once in a while, with so much time spent together, we're going to accidentally take off our mask, have it fall off, or maybe stand too close to somebody else. And the ways in which we remind each other to do the right thing will be one of the essential components to having a great year together. So a first step is to always use I statements. Say, I would feel better if you would back up, please. Rather than saying, you're trying to upset me, or why are you standing so close to me? And implying that you know the other person's motive. Try and be clear and efficient, but also specific. Uh, a long paragraph isn't going to be as effective as, if you would please back up two feet, I would feel better. Uh, finally, be mindful of your tone. Masks cover your face, and your eyes only tell a part of the story. The way you use your voice is going to be critical. In a lot of ways, the way we communicate this year in person will be sort of like email or text message in terms of how tone can be elusive and maybe be misinterpreted. Finally, acknowledge that everyone is managing the situation as best they can and is in a different place with how comfortable they are from a health and safety perspective. Don't project your current feelings or your comfort levels onto someone else. Instead, respect what they have to say and do your best to put them at ease. You'll notice how Arnav and Elizabeth wear their masks properly. They start by securing the elastic bands behind their ears and then make sure the masks cover their noses and mouth. In a few seconds time, you'll see Miss Barada, who does none of these things. What are you doing? Are you trying to get me sick? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> are you serious? Are you trying to get us all sick? Do you care what? about the people around you? What? Leave me alone. Be fine. My mask is dirty. Can I go fix it? Yes, of course. Just step outside and take care of it and come right back when you're ready. Empathize with those around you and how they might be feeling. 
ask for help, and then move forward. So in a minute, you're going to see an example of a student who drops their mask and asks another student for help. They don't have another mask, and so they're not sure what to do, and they do all of the right things. As Harbani walks across the campus, her mask falls into the muddy grass. She doesn't have another mask to put on, so she stops and thinks, looks around her to see if anyone will be impacted by her lack of a mask, and then asks Josh for help, which he promptly gives. Ready to have a delicious snack, Nadia makes certain that others are physically distanced from her and removes her mask and begins to eat. She keeps a tidy eating space and chews with her mouth closed to make sure that others are comfortable and at ease. Having completed the self-screening form at home, students arrive in the morning and physically distance as they wait to have their temperature checked. Each check takes only seconds, and they can quickly enter the school. Shane's temperature is initially over the threshold, so he steps to the side. In a few minutes' time, Nurse Blow will take his temperature again to determine whether he can enter the school this day or needs to return home for remote learning. Kelly, don't forget the stairwells for going up only now. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. As they move through the halls, students stay to the sides of the corridor to ensure they stay physically distant. Students enter Ms. Hall's classroom calmly and physically distanced. They slowly move to a seat and Ms. Hall helps direct them. Unfortunately, the last two students to arrive to class do a much less effective job. Hey, I forgot my pen. Do you have an extra? Sure, I don't see why not. Oh wait, you can't. Here Elizabeth demonstrates the proper way to wash one's hands. 
making sure to cover both her thumbs and her wrists, and then using the touchless towel dispenser properly. Unfortunately, our resident disciplinary issue does not follow suit.